This theater has been resurrected in many different ways since 1923. During that period of time, it was vaudeville. Then 1939 comes. The live shows began to decrease. This became a movie theater. First movie that was here was Gone with the Wind. It was one of the largest big screen theaters on Long Island. The mid 80s, it went to a triplex. The balcony was one theater, the main house was split in two. Then it closed. 1996, 97, the mayor that came in at that time, Stephen Keegan, resurrected it one more time. In 2004, we, we changed direction again, and here we are today, sitting in, in the theater, and it's needed to be resurrected again. These have certainly been unprecedented times that we've been living through right now. Uh, but I'm very excited that uh, Main Street will be opening up real soon, and a catalyst to the opening up of our Main Street will be the reopening of the Patchogue Theater. They are an economic engine for our downtown. Uh, if you look at the history of our downtown, recent history, you'll see that before the theater reopened in 1998, uh, we had about three restaurants in our downtown. Uh, today, we've got about 40. Uh, and that's a direct testament to what the Patchogue Theater means to the success of our downtown. My mother tap danced on the Patchogue Theater stage in the 1930s, and my aunt played the accordion here. I've performed the musicals on the stage and in a few live in the lobby shows. I also spent many afternoons and nights watching great movies from when I was a child until it closed in the 1980s. My son has performed here, and my daughter performs with Ovation's Dance Academy a few times a year. So I have an emotional attachment to this place. I remember they were trying to do tiles in the bathroom. They were talking about tiles in the bathroom. And Ann Sweezy was like, or Orlando, I think that's a bad idea. And raise your hands. And I raised my hand. I said, that's a bad idea. Um, the acoustics in the bathrooms and the dressing rooms would be horrible. And uh, that's how I started getting involved with the theater. And then we had our shows. We started doing our shows. This past December, I was awarded the proclamation from the mayor and the deputy mayor for being in the theater for 20 years, doing a My Nutcracker Suite. And this place has become a home. Uh, it's the Patchog living room. It's a place where it definitely raises the self-esteem of kids, um, brings incredible talent onto the stage, and brings families together. The Patchog Arts Council was formed in 2008, and at that time, their first venture was to hang artwork in the lobby of the Patchog Theater for the Performing Arts. And this was the beginning of a very long uh, collaboration on many, many uh, different levels that's evolved and grown. We're looking forward to bringing Art in the Lobby back um, and introducing new artists to the community. We've had a wonderful relationship with the theater that's allowed us to have collaborations that have brought live dance and performance and local music to the community. So we look forward to building uh, that relationship further. It's a wonderful thing. So we look forward as the Patchogue Arts Council to working with the theater when it reopens. And we've already got some ideas and some things we're discussing with them, uh, but that will remain a secret. We've done a lot of great shows at the Patchogue Theater and we're really excited to come back. We're gonna come back stronger and bigger than ever. The artists that we're talking to right now are all excited to get back and start touring again. So I think when we are allowed to do it, it's gonna be big. And this theater was the anchor this village becoming what it has become over the last 16 years. Yeah, we're very excited that once the theater opens up again, they're gonna come back bigger, better, stronger than ever, and provide us the thousands uh, of people as foot traffic uh, to our downtown. Don't forget the Petro Theater. It is a place that you wanna be.